Africa's Sahel region risks becoming a space for terrorists unless immediate coordinated action is taken. Chad's President Idris Deby warned on Monday as leaders gathered for security talks in the Malian capital. The presidents of Chad, Burkina Faso, Mali, Mauritania and Niger met in Bamako to discuss the region's perilous security situation where attacks mounted by jihadists and armed groups are on the rise and increasingly targeting civilians. Around 3,500 French troops are currently stationed in the Sahel with a mandate to secure the vast, largely desert area. The aim of this summit is threefold. The first is to make an objective analysis of the security situation in Mali and its impact on the common space. Without misleading you, I must say that we have already made great progress. The second is the state of play regarding the pledges made by our partners, particularly in terms of financial contributions and technical help, and the adequacy of the UN response to the realities on the ground. The third aim is to identify concrete actions for the coming weeks and months in order to promote peace and sustainable development and to acknowledge the efforts of the Barkhane Force and the national armies who regularly plan actions in the fight against terrorism and cross-border crime. As we all know, as long as the chaos in Libya continues, security in the Sahel and the Sahara will always be compromised. In my capacity as the head of the G5 Sahel, I invite you to invest, as we already do, in helping our Libyan brothers in the process of reconciliation and the search for peace.